Hey Chauncey, what are those? What are those? Oh no. Watch them not be mine though. Somebody else's Ford Giatos. You got an iPhone? Uh, no, I don't. Baby, is that nice to have old girlfriend like that. <laughs> oh, you got it off. Oh, you got it. 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 Oh,
So it's definitely got a different look than the eight spoke Caleb, but I'm definitely a fan, 100%. You know, uh, Gary's I think this guy, is gonna look really good. Hey, Gary's guy, KG1, that I talked to on the phone. Yeah, does not pronounce it Kayla. Yeah, his uh, no, remember, is Josh the new guy? Yes, Josh says Kala too. Kala, Kala, yeah. shot like, Kala, like shot Kala. That's yeah, what it is. It's not Kayla. I call it the Kayla. We've called it Kayla for a year now. Yep, we've sold it as Kayla. It's remaining Kayla. We sold the Valors or the Valors. Gary, I'm sorry, the Valor 100% Valor. Moving right down the line, 24 by 12, right? All right. What's that behind uh, oh look, look how easy this box is to open. All right, look. Obviously you guys can tell. Look at the name on the box. What did I say? Four G's. Four, four G's? Four, 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 Let me explain something four, to you. Four, 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 G, four, 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 Rolex, Rolex of wheels, go. Forgiato. Forgiato or American Force? American Force. Specialty is, Forge was up there at one point. 100% falling off. is the Brightline. Bright, I don't even know what that is. Brand of watch. They have a bunch of different brands of watches and they're all nice. But the most well-recognized wheel company that I know of is Forgiato. I'm not talking any trash on KG1. You got, so So let's, let's break this down for a second. I, I see what you're saying. In the truck industry, American Force. In all categories of every vehicle altogether, yes. most broadly known, Ford Giotto. Yes, I agree. I agree with that statement there. Sort of like Pirelli tires. They don't make the best mud tire, but as, as a group, as a group, everybody knows Pirelli. Sheesh! I almost don't even want to unwrap this, Jake. 26 by 16. Oh, I can just see the depth. Look at the white in the, the, in the F, though. This makes all oh, the center caps are on there, and they're full of this too, right? I don't, I don't want to touch it because it's all nice and polished. Come here, yeah. I don't want to touch it. But look, right here, look. I think it's like. Oh wow. Oh yeah. There it is. Look at the float, baby. Sheesh. That's wonderful. The float. Okay, and uh, and you know how you say like this is my favorite truck, so a good everyday driver. Yada yada yada. Whenever I say something is my favorite, I really mean it. That's I a, never say it. That's a nice wheel. And this is my. Uh, this is the best uh, wheel I've ever sold in my whole career. You think so? 100%. So let me ask you this. Do you like the 26 by 16 or the 26 by 14? I like the 26 by 16 because that's what I do. But to be honest with you, um, that is a nice wheel. I'm too impatient to wait for Forgiato sometimes. And the money difference kept me from doing it this time. KG1s, I just bought a set two days ago. I love them. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the most recent video, make sure you guys go check it out. Jake got some new, uh, these are Jake's old wheels. Jake got some new wheels. Oh, you can't see them. KG1 Jack. <laughs> you can't see it. But obviously you can tell he got new wheels because these are his old ones right here. So, do you know what the name of this wheel is, Jake? It's like the THX 101 or something like that. THC 101. So, this gives us a chance. It won't be as easy to tell. Is there any polish difference here? between the 4G Auto and the KG1? We had this happen last time. We asked uh, 10 different customers and 10 different customers pick more times the 4G Auto than the KG1. But I'll say this, for the price difference, if you're price shopping on a wheel, um, if it's not the name that you're buying and it's not specifically 4G Auto that you want, I would say the polish is no different, to be honest. Everything is uh, perfect on both wheels. There's literally no, I mean, there's not a flaw in any of them. The only imperfection that I can find, right, in the... And there's marks, of course, from fingerprints, but that's not, you know, that's not a problem. The only imperfection I can find, which is going to be against Forgiato, is the fact that they, I know they do all their polishing by hand, and you pointed this out, you can see the little bit of polish left over. Pressure washer, 30 seconds, it's gone, but I get what you're saying. That's the only thing, and I actually respect the fact that they're, at least these portions are polished by hand. I don't know if the rest of it's polished by hand. Um, that's about a $1,200 set of caps right there, bud. Really? Yep. Float. Yeah, it looks worth it. I mean, look at it. <laughs> the float. That's so cool, though. Now, I'm, I'm assuming most of you, most of you in the comments did not click on this video for me to show off the KG-1 or to show off the 4G Auto. This is going on a gentleman from Raleigh, North Carolina. 
this is going on. A, a local guy, local guy. We were gonna do 28s. 28s are, are tough to get right now, that's all I'm gonna say. So we went 26, 16, 40 out of Can I ask you a question? I don't mean to interrupt. Anything for you. I think you're uh, forgetting wheels. So can we look at the third wheel? It's a guy from Florida. That's what I was. That's what I was gonna say. A lot of you, when I the beginning of this video started off as, you know, look, there's Forgiatos out here. There's Forgiatos for somebody. Well, this is it. I have done. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram because I put a teaser of the fact that I actually got Forgiatos on my Instagram. So if you if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. Before but, uh, we show that wheel, where's that Nitto at? this time you're doing this to me. um obviously any of you long-term subscribers of the channel know what was gonna happen and this has been something that I've been dreaming of doing ever since I built the truck and, and realized that they make 24 by 14s and 375 so obviously I had the 22 by 14 and 375s we had to do it I had to do the the 24s and three it's just it's I've been talking about it for way too long I had to do it so there we go, I got one tire in, I'm waiting on the other three. And your boys got 24 by 14 Forgiatos now. They're here in my face, paid for. I just ripped all the name off one side of the box now. I don't even care. But this, this is... That's, I, a box, that's a box you keep in the garage. I don't even know how to, how to build up to this moment. This is, this is a mo let me let me, let me put this into perspective for you. People are gonna get mad that I'm talking so much. I've been on YouTube for like three or four years. This, this is like the dream set of wheels and tires for me. Jake tells me all the time, you know, we, we, we can have any wheel that we want, we can do this, we can do that. I, I, I wanted one thing, I've wanted one thing. Now my idea of my dream set of wheels and tires have always changed. But like we talked about the Rolex, there's always been that, that top. There's always been the dream out of reach set. And this is it. 24 by 14, 375s, and 40 others. All polished, big switch up, they might end up red. But this is it. No, it's fine. I'll let you see it. So much. This is one of those moments where the phone is going to stress me out in the background and I don't even care. So do you think that you're going to make the thumbnail picture cover up the wheels? Oh, wow. Ooh, those are colossal. Four Giatos. Uh, there is one thing about this that's not what I expected. They're not concave. I don't think they're concave. They are, but they aren't. Look how fat that lip is. I know. I so like this, how the center dips into. This was a uh, this was a last second deal that jumped in front of my face, and I just I'd sent it, and I said screw it, run it. They look good too. Here's the test, though. Ready? Metal. It is metal. Metal caps. Still got little uh, little polishing beads in them. What's up with the length though? I don't know. See it? I don't know. What the cap? Yeah. <laughs> Long and skinny. Look at that thing. Hundred percent. I need to get some kind of like a like a short cap. Oh wow. It, 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 I don't hate it. Or maybe like a floater. I do hate it. I don't hate it, but I hate it. You know what I mean? No wheel is gonna be perfect. What I'm saying is the wheel is perfect. The center cap's long for no reason. It was a, it was a deal that I couldn't pass up. So we have four Giatos now. Might be for sale. <laughs> Everything's for sale. Look at that cap though. Floats. Looks like Spin me. Huh. Oh, look at this one though. Look this at this. Is cool. <laughs> look at Jesus this. Christ. Look at. <laughs> I Look at the yeah. I can't long, make a, I can't make a joke about it. Long and skinny. <laughs> I knew something had to be different about it. Because all we can see is eight lug pictures. This is the first time we've no, seen this wheel on a six I don't hate it. I just can't understand the cap. I know. Look at the damn cap, right? Bro. 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 That's rough. Yeah. You want me to cut about six inches off that and weld it back together? Can you? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's aluminum. We can weld it, but God dang! I'm gonna get, some, uh, I'm gonna get with caps. Hey, I got an extra set of KG1 caps. I'm gonna get them to make me some caps. We gotta get floaters. We gotta get bread gang caps. Hey, I think you need to call uh, Ford G Auto and be like, "Yo, <laughs> we gotta get bread gang Bro. caps for sure." Oh Lord! They need to get, they need to get it together. Over there. That's rough. I mean, that I, wouldn't cap. That, I wouldn't even let you roll that next to white line with a cap. Line. That <laughs> cap is good. Jordan, that you you did good. I like this on the. Uh, this is this is dope. with the white too. It's fucked up. Wow. Look, so 
I don't think there's a perfect wheel ever, right? I think everybody that orders wheels is always a little skeptical. Oh, you're being aggressive right now. You're being aggressive. Long story short, I think kind of like the headlights, kind of back and forth about the headlights. I'm dropping those off this weekend to get color matched. Same thing with the wheels. I'm kind of iffy with the wheels, but I think they're going to look 10 times better once they're on the truck, right? So let's go put it on the truck or next to the truck at least. I've never had a polished wheel before. I don't know how to, I don't know how to act. I want to point something out real quick. Please tell me that this 375, hey Jake, please tell me why this 375 is the same size as a 37 inch Gladiator. I don't know. I don't know. You got a jack over there and a lug nut or in a gun. Yeah, I got let's, a lug nut over let's here. Let's do it. You want to see I'm these nuts? I'm about to run it up. Come on. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to lie. Look, the red looks good, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm, so I'm skeptical about the wheels. I'm skeptical skeptical about all of it, but look. Come on now. Come on now. Compared to the red though, that's wild, bro, isn't it? That's wild, bro, isn't it? Compared to the red, look. It looks better, it looks better on the truck, 100%. Put the center caps on it. That, that size and the color, that's it. I'm telling you. The size and the color is it. <clears throat> Compared to the red, the chrome is 100%. Trying to be like daddy over here? I'm, hey, I've been trying for a while. I've been trying. Look, how many people remember on the channel me always talking about this truck in particular? All I wanted was 24s and 375s. Just look at look at the size difference. On this man, I, I didn't. I didn't like it at first, but I'm fucking with it now. Damn, boy, that's crazy. That's so crazy. I put the new forgies on the Jeep. Hey, I'm about to be cutting up, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm about to be cutting up. Dang, my man Chauncey out here popping out on the 2616s too, though. What? My boy out here, oh, about to be skating on them sixes. What? That's just a teaser for y'all. Just a teaser. Look, all jokes aside, I want to I wanna thank all of y'all on YouTube. 26,000 subscribers and counting. I didn't think the day would ever come. And to be to be working with Forgiato like I am now, it just, it's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. And I just want to thank every single one of y'all for allowing me to manifest this and show me that it's possible. I thank y'all more than ever. And I haven't even gotten the rest of them on the truck yet. That, that'll come another day. I don't even, I just, I'm blessed, man. I really am. And I'm just, I just thank y'all. I thank y'all for the opportunity. It's fucking crazy. Let's get this bread. Yeah, we can look, look at the difference. I mean, the size wise, there's not too much of a difference. Not too much. I see it because I, I'm, I'm so used to being on the 22s for so long. But just look at the, the overall presentation difference between the Chrome 24s and the black 22s. There's just no, I don't know why I didn't do this so much longer ago. That's just wild. It is. And it's just one of them too. Like if you look at just the front half of the truck like this, without looking at the, without looking at the red one in the back, I mean that tire just looks, compared to the red in the back, the size profile. Do you like the chrome ones or the, or the red ones better? Chrome. Me too. Hands down. <laughs> I don't like the red. Oh, I love it. I do not like the red. I love it so I much. I don't know why. I just don't. It don't go with the truck. To me, these right here bring all of this out. Damn. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Dang, she scoped it out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it. I've had a bunch of weekends. Gotta do it. <laughs> he don't even know I'm recording or using his damn camera. So yeah, that's what we about to go do. You know, seven and nine, Goy's lift kit. Not too wide, not too big, but just perfect daily driver. You know, I think it's a um, 2018 GMC. 
I believe it's a, a 6.2, not a 5.3.